Bulls Nation, another trade to discuss today for the Chicago Bulls and another very interesting trade that I think the Chicago Bulls could potentially have done very, very well in. And despite my opinions on what our current players were on this bench, there were some a few things that we, do, we did need to discuss. And this bench now has made significant changes to either getting better or worse, depending on what you, what you guys think. So let's talk about this trade between the Chicago Bulls and the Washington Wizards and let's discuss it in this video. Let's do it. What's up everybody? It's the Aiden Sports Show and welcome back to another video today. We've got a Chicago Bulls video in relation to some more trades that will be happening for the Chicago Bulls with a little bit of our bench squad. It's not the star-studded trade that was Nikola Vucevic, but it's definitely a trade that the Chicago Bulls may see some benefits from doing at the end of the day. But of course, it's all down to the opinion. So as many people might believe this trade ends up making us worse and we're going to find out out what I believe about all the players in this trade with the Washington Wizards. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on and let me know your, in the comments below what are your thoughts about the Chicago Bulls trades that keep on happening. Before we get any further, I must apologize. I am using my old phone. I, I record from phone, if you guys don't know. I'm using my old phone, so it looks a little bit zoomed in from what I'm looking at. So hopefully that's not too much of a concern. If it is, I sincerely apologize. But just to make things go along quicker, because it is so late at night for me, I decided to record while the other one is uploading. Regardless of that, let's discuss the trades for the Chicago Bulls today. So, this trade, as mentioned before, was with the Washington Wizards. And the first player, we're, we're going to talk about the Bulls players that will be shipped off to Washington first. Firstly, I want to talk about Chandler Hutchinson. Chandler Hutchinson... Chandler Hutchinson is the first player that will be traded to the Washington Wizards. Now, I am a big fan of Chandler Hutchinson, but at the end of the day, very similar to Wendell Carter, who is also no longer a member of the Chicago Bulls. Injuries have stunted his growth and his development under the Chicago Bulls, and it only can go so far until you really don't see a future with a player anymore. Unfortunately, with Chandler Hutchinson, I still would have believed if he was with the Chicago Bulls playing consistently Consistently, he would have had a decent run, but for the past three years that he's been here, I think many people have that lost that faith in him, and I think to an extent, I've lost that faith in him a little bit as well. So again, hopefully a trade with the Washington Wizards, hopefully he can get the best out of himself in a new environment in Washington. I know we, we basically promised we would give Chandler Hutchinson that draft pick, and we gave him the opportunities, but unfortunately, Things just don't work out, and, and that's just how the NBA is. And again, my personal like for a player, I like Chandler Hutchinson, and I like the next player we're going to talk about a lot. But my personal likes for these players, does it can't get in the way of my judgment and the, the necessities that this team needs. So I like Chandler Hutchinson as a player. I believe he will be a good player wherever he goes. I think he'll be a solid role player. I don't think he'll be any more than that at this point. But he'll be a player that comes off the bench and does well. But unfortunately, it hasn't been for the Bulls. And for many reasons, it hasn't been for the Bulls. So I can't sit here and say that I'm super upset to see him go. I see still some potential in him. And I would have liked to see him um, give, be given another chance. But at the end of the day, we've done what we've done. And I'm happy that we've done it. Again, another change that I believe will take us in the right direction. And Chandler Hutchinson, unfortunately, was a member that had to go. But the one that I'm truly, really sad about is Daniel Gafford. Daniel Gafford who only averaged four points and three rebounds this season for the Chicago Bulls, has had an up and down season by far. Again, when he was starting for this team, many people, absolutely everybody believed he had the potential to become a starter for this team until he started and then he dropped down dramatically. He's played decently over the past two games and I truly believe that in our last two games that we played with the Chicago Bulls, Daniel Gafford was one of our better bench players. And maybe he was playing to get that move or maybe he realized he was getting traded so he was trying to up his value a little bit. I'm not sure what the case may be, but I still had faith that he would be a very good backup center for this team. But once again, 
These things are out of our control. At the end of the day, we gave Daniel Gafford multiple opportunities in the starting lineup. And unfortunately, as much as I like Daniel Gafford, I know many other YouTubers and fans like Daniel Gafford, it just didn't work out while he was the starting center. So again, it is a move that I believe both Chandler Hutchison and Daniel Gafford need to revive their careers and to be given another opportunity with another team and to see if that team will be the sticking point. Because unfortunately for Chandler Hutchinson and Daniel Gafford, these two players just didn't click with the Chicago Bulls. Chandler Hutchinson was always injured. Daniel Gafford didn't grasp this opportunity. So I think it's best for both parties, for the Bulls and for these players to have a fresh start from each other. And again, this is something I didn't believe until I saw the news that they got traded. I believed put it this way two hours ago I believe Chandler Hutchinson is still going to be a good player for the Chicago Bulls but again now that they're gone and now that we've made this trade I support the Chicago Bulls I support Arturius I support Billy Donovan I support Mark Eversley that I understand why this trade was made and I respect it and I'm very happy about the players that we're bringing in speaking of Let's discuss the players that the Washington Wizards are giving to the Chicago Bulls. The first one, and the one I'm going to get out of the way, Troy Brown, is getting traded from the, Chicago, from the Washington Wizards to the Chicago Bulls. I believe Troy Brown is a small forward who is only averaging around four points per game. He's not doing terrific this season at all. But in his entirety of a career, he's averaging around seven points per game, and he is a fairly good defensive player. Again, we need a little bit more defense in this team. I think that's fair to say. Um, Chandler Hutchison would have been that guy, but he just wasn't playing. So we, got, we basically got our Chandler H Hutchison replacement. And in my opinion, he's still really young. And this is someone that I believe could do wonders if he's just put on the right track, given the opportunity to go. Again, someone that averages seven points per game in his career and he's having a worse season this year, that doesn't necessarily mean that he's a, a bad player whatsoever. At the end of the day, it could be a one season wonder. It could be due to the constraints of the Washington Wizards, how they've been struggling, that makes him struggle. At the end of the day, a new environment for Troy Brown could end up working wonders for him as well, just as much as it is for Chandler Hutchison and Daniel Gafford. So I'm gonna welcome him here. I'm gonna give him an op opportunity to prove himself. I believe he will be a bench player for the Chicago Bulls. He's young, he'll get minutes, and we'll see what happens when he, when, we'll see what happens with that. That is something that I can't complain about whatsoever. I think he's playing, overall, I think he's a better player than Chandler Hutchinson. So we're bringing in a better player to this team to help contribute off the bench. There's not too much more you can ask for. And again, he could be a trade asset down the line if things do not work out. And another player that we're going to bring in, um, I'm surprised about this one as well, Mo Wagner. If you don't know who Mo Wagner is, I believe he's only he's averaging seven points per game this season. Um, again, he's basically Daniel Gaffer's replacement. It's like for like pretty much. Um, Troy Brown's a small forward. Chandler Hutchins is a small forward. Daniel Gaffer's a center. Um, Mo Wagner is a power forward slash center. So in the end, we're getting like for like replacements. But if you look based on stats, Mo Wagner's having a much better season than Daniel Gafford. So that is also something to look forward to. He's 23 years of old. He's 23 years old, I believe. Mo Wagner is and. I think this could definitely be a good deal for the Chicago Bulls again. What I truly believe is we brought a little bit more scoring and some defense to that bench. I think this is definitely a move to help improve the bench. And I'm not sure if the Washington Wizards feel the same way about Chandler Hutchinson and Daniel Gafford. I don't see, I don't really know. If you're a Washington Wizards fan and you're watching this video, please let me know. What are your thoughts about getting Chandler Hutchinson and Daniel Gafford off of the Chicago Bulls? Because I personally believe the two players that we're getting back are probably better than what we're giving away. So that is something to be happy about if you're a Chicago Bulls fan, but I might be the only one that thinks that. I believe Daniel Gaffer would have had a terrific season for the Chicago Bulls down the line. But unfortunately, it is what it is. We can't be complaining about what could have been. We're focusing on what's happening now. And Mo Wagner and Troy Brown are now the Chicago Bull members. They are now Chicago Bulls players. And now they have my full support in this team. And I hope they're given a chance to prove 
why they should be a Chicago Bull long term. They're both really young players. They both still have a lot of progression to make in their careers. I'm not saying they'll be superstars or anything, but I don't see why one of them can't push their way into, into the lineup consistently. One of them can't be a starter. One of them can't be a six man um, earning those types of minutes. Let's see what happens with this because I really think we could be in for something really good with this trade once again. I think the Chicago Bulls have done tremendously well this entire trade period, getting the call of Bruce from the Orlando Magic and getting um, getting obviously these two, Troy Brown and, and Mo Wagner and Alpha Rukamini from the Magic as well. I think we've made some really good moves. And again, the, the, these are moves that will be, uh, they're moves that are, they're, they're, these this one especially, these are the moves that are very, I guess many people won't see a difference, but I truly believe these two players could make a difference for this team, especially on the scoring end for the Chicago Bulls. And in relation to the Washington Wizards, as mentioned before, I'm not really sure how Washington Wizards fans would really feel about a trade like this. I think if they're just looking based on stats, they might not be happy. But again, if Chandler Hutchinson can stay healthy, I think he's a good player. And I think he'll add something to the Washington Wizards. And Daniel Gafford, maybe it is a different scenario. Maybe it is more... Uh, the coach or the organization putting more faith in him to do something that can help him excel because that's all sometimes all it takes is a fresh start but in the end uh as a bulls fan I, i'm fairly content and happy with this trade and all the trades that have happened so far for the chicago bulls so let's keep it rolling we don't have too much time left to go until the trade deadline is finished and um we still have some decent trades that we could make we could also have some different scenarios to talk about so we're going to leave it here um let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this trade not the biggest trade not the best of trades but it's definitely a trade that i think improves the bulls and in the end from the starters to the bench improvements to this team is only a step in the right direction it might take a while for all these players to gel in the team we've made some very big changes changes i never expected but with time, maybe we sacrifice this season if it takes too long. But even if we don't, with time, we could get this team in the right direction. And it's going to be a beautiful sight to see and one I'm really excited and looking forward to. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. Have a wonderful and safe day. I'll see you in another Chicago Bulls video. Who, who knows? There could be another trade to talk about. I doubt there will be, but man, you never know. One hour or so left. Let's get this going and I can finally get that sleep that I've been talking about for two videos now. Take care.